Nine-year-old Kamari Harrison is a fourth grader at Woodmere Elementary, and this year Kamari's a virtual learner, so his classroom is also his bedroom. The school suspended Kamari for violating a federal weapons law. I felt like, you know, like they were nitpicking and just totally just invading privacy, just period, like, you know, like we can't have no privacy in the house, like, you know, and whatnot. September 11th, Kamari was taking a test on the computer when his dad says Kamari's brother walked into the room and tripped over Kamari's BB gun. Kamari moved it, picked it up and moved it out the way, you know, out of the walking pad and whatnot, you know. When he moved it, his, his emotion, you know, he picked it up, got up, picked it up briefly, set it on the other side of him. According to the paperwork from his expulsion hearing, the teacher's account of what happened matches Kamari's. She stated he placed it on the side of his chair so that we could only see the barrel. You know, she had an obligation to report this to the principal, but her obligation ended there. And from there is when everything went awry. Harrison's attorney, Chelsea Cusimano, attended Kamari's hearing. The policies in place are so robotic in nature to apply to guns on campus that they went into this school year without any policy or procedure to handle how to handle the privacy of someone's own home. The Jefferson Parish School System told us they don't comment on individual student records but pointed to its online policies, stating in part, illegal carrying possession or use of a firearm or dangerous weapon within the boundaries of school property or on school bus is a crime. This is a privacy issue. Not only is this a due process issue and a breach of contract issue and an intentional infliction of emotional distress on a nine-year-old issue, it's a Second Amendment right to bear arms issue. I think all of this really could have been you know, thrown out the window, you know, when, when, when the teacher found out, you know, what the situation was. Nyron Harrison doesn't believe his home should be considered an extension of school property and says his son became humiliated when the school asked his classmates to write letters about the incident. Embarrassed, you know, and um... Felt like he did something wrong. Felt like he did something wrong. School officials suspended Kamari for six days. He's now being submitted for a social work assessment. This is not a child that needs a social work assessment. The weapons violation is now a part of Kamari's permanent public school record. It's going to follow him, you know, going to college and whatnot, picking colleges, you know, and whatnot. This is a prejudgment of a nine-year-old that is going to impact his educational career for the rest of his life.